Because we were just looking at the at how the media had scored it, and uh, right down the middle, I had it uh, two to two going into the last round, and I thought uh, Strickland won the last round. Um, guys who were sitting at the same table had it the other way, and uh, you know it was a close fight. Str I thought Strickland looked great in the first two rounds. I mean, the jab was fucking beautiful. You don't see jabs like that in MMA. And, and, and the jab did what they're supposed to do. Both of his eyes were swollen shut. Um, he slowed down in the third and fourth. Du du uh, Duplessis kept coming forward, uh, you know, then started mixing up takedowns and, and punches. And, and uh, I had it uh, even going to the fifth round. I'm like, this is the round, see who wants it. And the both started to turn it up a little bit. Just, it's just one of those tight fights. But I'm also one of these guys I believe you have to take it from the gym. Now that you have heard what Uncle Dana had to say about the fight, let's break down the fight. The main event was not just a fight. It was a clash of wills, a test of skill, and a showcase of sheer determination. Sean Strickland, known for his striking precision, faced off against the number two ranked contender, Dricius Duplessis. The tension between these two fighters was palpable. Stemming from a heated exchange at the UFC 2024 seasonal press conference. Despite the emotional backdrop, both fighters maintained their composure, delivering a performance that kept fans on the edge of their seats. Strickland, adopting a measured approach, skillfully evaded Duplessis's power shots, inflicting damage and targeting the South African's head. Duplessis, undeterred, launched a relentless assault, attacking Strickland's head, body, and legs. The fight intensified in the championship rounds, with Duplessis opening a significant cut near Strickland's left eye and dominating the exchanges. In a nail-biting finish, Duplessis was declared the winner by split decision, marking a historic moment as he became the first South African-born UFC champion. Now let's break down the fight. It's round one, and both these fighters are in their orthodox stances, ready to throw down. But who's gonna take a step back first? Let's find out. The bell rings, and they meet in the center, sizing each other up. Strickland fires off that jab right away, and DDP answers with a slick calf kick. Strickland tries to sneak a teep to the body, and DDP responds with a head kick that grazes its target. As the round unfolds, both fighters continue to circle each other, searching for that sweet spot. Strickland's jab is like a homing missile, but he's not pushing DDP backward. He's just dancing around the octagon. DDP, on the other hand, is hunting for lead left hooks and throwing Strickland off with stance switches. Strickland's jab game is on point, and he's defending like a fortress. Right out of the gate, folks, it's clear this isn't Sean's first rodeo. His jabs? More like sniper bullets. Precise, relentless, and boy did they leave a mark on DDP's face. It's like watching a master sculptor chiseling away with every jab. But hey, Dracus isn't here to be a canvas. He's bringing his own palette of blitzes. Yet, round one? That's Sean's canvas, painted with the art of boxing. It is not until later in the round that Dreykus finds success and perhaps foreshadow where he will be having an edge over Sean's game by taking him down close to round one end. Although Sean gets up quickly, we could see that the takedowns will be a crucial part of this game. MMA fighting scores the round 10-9 for Strickland. Round two, and it's a competitive one. Strickland's defense is impeccable and his jab is calling the shots. But DDP is not giving up without a fight. Strickland goes right back to work in the second round, but DDP isn't an easy target. He's circling out effectively, not letting himself get cornered. He lands a calf kick and tries a right hand, but it gets blocked. Strickland is firing straight shots whenever DDP makes a move, but DDP is becoming more daring. He lands a spinning back fist after a Strickland jab. We witness a tactical evolution unfold. Sean's leg kick checks, a mirror of his prowess against Izzy, set a formidable defense. It's like he's crafted an impenetrable fortress with those shins. But here's where Drykus, our adaptability maestro, flips the script. He's not just rolling with the punches, he's rewriting the playbook, weaving intricate body shots into his striking symphony. Drykus paves the way for his signature head kicks. Yet, it's his wrestling, the unexpected ace up his sleeve, that truly turns the tide. With each clinch, each takedown, Dreykus isn't just fighting, he's narrating a tale of tenacity. It's Dreykus' strategic mix-up, blending striking finesse with wrestling prowess, that steals the spotlight, marking the round not just as a battle,
but as a chess match of physicality and wits. Round three brings a sense of urgency for Strickland as his corner calls for him to turn up the heat. DDP responds by opening with relentless pressure, forcing Strickland into a defensive stance. Despite Strickland's precise jab, DDP pushes forward, focusing on body shots and kicks. Strickland's defense remains strong, but he's being outworked. DDP lands a significant body kick and a teep to maintain control. Despite DDP's wild attacks and Strickland's retreat, Strickland continues to land his jab. DDP misses a few shots but maintains his relentless pace. Strickland's retreat is evident and DDP charges forward with wild swings. Strickland's jab remains his weapon of choice and both fighters go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the final minute, delivering an electrifying exchange. MMA fighting scores the round 10-9 for DDP, extending his lead to 29-28 overall. In round four, Strickland's corner urges him to pick up the pace, but DDP remains fresh and aggressive. DDP initiates the round with a flurry of combos and Strickland responds with a jab barrage. Both fighters exchange shots, with Strickland landing a powerful right hand. Strickland continues to display a strong jab, but DDP relentlessly pressures him. Despite Strickland's defense, DDP lands significant shots, causing Strickland's left eye to bleed heavily. DDP secures a takedown, but Strickland quickly returns to his feet against the fence. As Strickland's left eye continues to deteriorate, DDP relentlessly attacks, landing multiple strikes and a head kick. Strickland remains in retreat mode, but he fights back valiantly. DDP charges forward with powerful swings and even secures a takedown, though Strickland promptly stands up. MMA fighting scores the round 10-9 for DDP, increasing his lead to 39-37 overall. In the final round, Strickland's corner emphasizes the need to win. Strickland starts with his jab but is forced backward by DDP's powerful strikes. Strickland fights to hold the center, landing a solid right hand. DDP attempts high kicks, but misses. Both fighters engage in a fierce exchange, but DDP's forward momentum prevails. Strickland's resistance fades, and DDP keeps up the pressure, forcing Strickland to retreat. DDP tries for a takedown, but Strickland defends with a sprawl and maintains distance. Strickland continues to land his jab, countering DDP's attacks. In the final minute, both fighters swing wildly in a thrilling exchange. MMA fighting scores the round 10-9 for Strickland, but it may not be enough. The verdict is in, with Drikas Duplessis winning by a split decision, 48-47, 47-48, 48-47. This battle between two warriors was nothing short of extraordinary.